Have you ever wondered if time travel could explain the unanswered mysteries of our ancient past? Let's delve into this fascinating concept. Picture this. If time travel is ever discovered in the future, there should be evidence of it in the past. It's a mind-bending realm of possibilities where the past, present and future all exist at the same time, on a cyclical timeline. Now imagine our solar system as a grand cosmic clock, ticking away through the eons. In this grand clock, Earth is not alone, there's Mars, a barren red landscape that might well be our planet's grim future. Conversely, Venus, shrouded in dense clouds, could be a window to Earth's distant past. This is the essence of the uniplanetary evolution theory, a theory that postulates that the planets in our solar system are just different stages in the life cycle of a single planet, Earth. Intriguing, isn't it? But it gets even more interesting. According to this theory, if we wanted to escape our planet's inevitable demise, we wouldn't necessarily have to venture into the unknown depths of the cosmos. Instead, we could take a relatively short hop across our solar system to Venus, which could be Earth in its infancy billions of years in the past. But why would we want to travel back in time, you might ask? Well, it's not just about escaping the end of the world. It's about ensuring the survival of the human race. You see, if we could establish a colony on Venus, we could potentially create a stable, self-sustaining population that could survive any catastrophe on Earth. And who knows? Maybe our ancestors have already done this. Maybe we, the inhabitants of Earth, are the descendants of time travelers from the future who journeyed back in time to ensure the survival of their species. So, if we could travel back in time to Venus, what could we find there? The journey to Venus or Earth's past would not be an easy one. The cosmos is a hostile place filled with solar radiation, bone deteriorating, zero gravity, and a myriad of other dangers that can harm an astronaut's health. Our bodies, evolved on the safe and stable environment of Earth, we aren't naturally equipped for the harsh realities of space, but what if we could enhance our bodies to withstand these challenges? NASA is working on that solution now, medical nanobots. Imagine microscopic robots each no larger than a bacterium or a virus coursing through your veins. These tiny machines have one mission, to repair and protect. They could fix damage from solar radiation almost as soon as it happens, ensuring our cells remain healthy despite the onslaught from the sun, they could also stimulate muscle and bone growth, counteracting the atrophy caused by long periods in zero gravity. But these nanobots could do more than just repair damage. They could alter us on a fundamental level, turning us into something superhuman. With the right programming, nanobots could enhance our immune system, making us resistant to diseases. They could modify our brain circuits, improving our cognitive abilities. In essence, they could push the limits of human potential. This might sound like science fiction, but it's a future NASA is actively working towards. The field of nanotechnology is rapidly progressing and the dream of medical nanobots is becoming closer to reality with each passing day. Scientists are already exploring how nanobots could be used to treat a range of medical conditions. From cancer to heart disease, now let's take this concept a step further. Imagine these superhumans, enhanced by medical nanobots, traveling back in time to Venus, Earth's past. They would seem like gods to the people of the past, with their advanced knowledge and seemingly miraculous abilities. And they would have a mission. To ensure mankind's survival, to guide humanity's development, and to protect the timeline. Now imagine superhumans from the future in our past with a mission to ensure mankind's survival. Our ancient legends tell stories of beings descending from the sky, teaching humans about technology and agriculture. Now imagine, if these tales were not merely myths, but echoes of encounters with superhuman time travelers from our own future. Consider the legend of the Nibiru, believed by some to be a mysterious planet within our solar system. But what if Nibiru was a past Earth? These superhumans, their bodies teeming with nanobots, escaped a planet destined to destruct. Then, there is the tale of the Holy Grail, a chalice said to hold the blood of Jesus Christ, bestowing eternal life upon those who drink from it. Could this eternal life be the work of medical nanobots, carried in the blood, repairing damage and halting the aging process? Could this be the origin of the vampire legends, tales of becoming immortal beings by drinking the blood, perhaps blood teeming with nanobots? Greek mythology is riddled with stories of gods and demigods, beings of immense power and wisdom, living among mortals. Could these gods in fact be our future selves, enhanced by nanotechnology, journeying back to guide us? 
What about the tales of shapeshifters like werewolves or the half-human, half-animal Egyptian gods? Could these transformations be the work of shape-shifting nanobots, known as Bucky Tubing? Even the cave paintings, our earliest form of storytelling, depict beings from the sky, teaching primitive man. Could these be records of time travelers sharing their knowledge to ensure our survival and thus, their own existence? Consider Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god of the Mayans who descended from the heavens to teach agriculture, medicine and science, and then ascended back, promising to return in the future. Isn't it intriguing to think he might have been a time traveler? These are all speculative theories of course but they offer a fascinating lens through which to view our ancient legends and folklore. What if these legends were not just stories but records of encounters with these superhuman time travelers? What if the gods of ancient Greece were not gods but time travelers from Earth? This idea might sound far-fetched, but when you look at it through the lens of time travel and technological advancement, it starts to make a surprising amount of sense. Consider the legends of shapeshifters and half-human half-animal gods. These stories are found in many different cultures around the world. But what if these weren't just stories? What if these were actual events, witnessed by ancient people and explained in the only way they knew how? This is where the concept of nanotechnology comes into play. Currently there are nanobots capable of altering their shape and form, known as bucky tubing. It's a shape-shifting nanobots 1000 times stronger than steel. These microscopic robots could theoretically manipulate our physical appearance, temporarily changing us into something else entirely. Suddenly, the ancient tales of humans transforming into animals, or gods with the heads of beasts, don't seem quite so mythical. And what about the gods themselves? The Greek gods were depicted as superhuman beings, with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. But what if they weren't gods at all? What if they were simply humans from the future, enhanced by medical nanotechnology and armed with knowledge and technology far beyond what was available at the time? These godlike beings would have seemed magical to the people of the past. They could perform feats that seemed impossible, heal the sick and even control the elements. But these weren't magical abilities. They were simply the result of advanced technology, misunderstood by people who lacked the context to comprehend what they were seeing. But why would these time travelers come to the past? What was their purpose? The answer is both simple and profound. To escape Earth's catastrophic event that transforms Earth into uninhabitable Mars. Also to guide humanity on a path that would ensure our survival, and by extension, their own. We brought knowledge of agriculture, medicine, and science. We taught ourselves how to build, how to create, and how to thrive. These godlike time travelers had one important mission to teach mankind to thrive in order to protect our own existence in the future. There are many ancient stories of godlike beings teaching humans new skills and knowledge. These tales pervade our history, painting vivid images of divine intervention. But have you ever wondered if these godlike beings were not gods at all but time travelers from the future? Think about it for a moment. Our ancestors were primitive, lacking the knowledge and technology we possess today, Instead of current beliefs that they were drawing on the cave walls as an expression of their art, perhaps it was a time traveler from the future drawing on the walls like a chalkboard to show primitive man how to not just survive, but how to thrive. One such story that comes to mind is that of Quetzalcoatl, a deity worshipped in ancient Mesoamerican cultures. Quetzalcoatl, often depicted as a deity, was said to have descended from the heavens, in his feathered serpent, teaching the people agriculture, medicine, and science. These were skills far beyond their comprehension at the time, skills that would help them thrive and advance as a civilization. But what if Quetzalcoatl wasn't a god? What if he was a time traveler from the future, his feathered serpent, a rocket ship sent back in time to guide humanity? His advanced knowledge could easily be seen as divine by the primitive Mayans, and his departure in his feathered serpent was said to be a journey to Venus. The most intriguing part of the Quetzalcoatl legend is his promise to return in the future. He claimed he would return on his birthday, in the future. Could this be a clue to his true identity? If Quetzalcoatl was a time traveler his birth would indeed be in the future. This theory of course is purely speculative but it offers an alternate possibility of how the evidence is interpreted, that time travelers walked among our ancestors, guiding them towards a future they had already lived. It's a theory that turns history on its head, suggesting that our past may have been influenced by our future. Quetzalcoatl promised to return in the future because he was born in the future. The possibility of time travel and superhumans in our past 
has profound implications on our understanding of history. Imagine a world where the great mysteries of our ancient past, from the construction of the pyramids to the origins of agriculture, were not the result of slow, painstaking human development, but rather the influence of time-traveling superhumans. This scenario would completely upend our traditional understanding of history. Instead of viewing history as a linear progression, we would have to consider it as a complex web of interconnected events, influenced by beings from different periods of time. Consider the implications on our understanding of religion. If the miracles described in religious texts were not divine interventions but the result of advanced technology from the future, it would challenge the foundations of many belief systems. The divine beings worshipped by our ancestors could have been time travelers with advanced knowledge and technology, perceived as gods due to their extraordinary abilities. Similarly, our understanding of technological and scientific progress would shift dramatically. If time travelers introduced advanced knowledge to our ancestors, it would mean that many of our greatest inventions and discoveries were not the result of human ingenuity, but rather knowledge borrowed from the future. This would not devalue our accomplishments, but rather put them in a new, fascinating context. Historical events too might be viewed in a new light. Did time travelers play a role in major historical turning points? Were they behind the scenes, subtly influencing the course of events? This perspective could lead us to reinterpret significant moments in our history and question our understanding of cause and effect. The concept of time travel also raises intriguing questions about predestination and free will. If our past was influenced by time travelers from the future, does that mean our future is already written? Or do we have the power to shape our own destiny? If time travel is ever discovered in the future, will it change our understanding of our past? And if so, how? The answers to these questions could redefine our understanding of history and indeed our place in the universe. Follow me to hear alternative explanations that will open your mind to new perspectives of who we are, why we are here, and where we are going. Stay tuned.